Hi, and welcome to the third video on Etsy keyword generation. Uh, the first two videos you saw, we used the Etsy search bar and the Etsy gadget to come up with uh, keywords for our products. And by now, you guys should have a nice long list. Um, we're going to actually be using a tool today called Marmalene. Uh, they have a free version and a paid version, and I'm only going to show you the free version. Uh, what we're going to use Marmalade for is something a little bit different, though. Um, the last two items we, um, with the last two tools we use, I should say, we use them to get an idea of keywords. But with Marmalade, we're going to analyze the keywords. So you're going to take that list that you generated from those last few videos, and we're going to start going through the terms on your list, and we're going to try to find out are they good terms? Are they relevant terms? And, you know, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use one of the listings that we've been looking at in the last two videos. It'll help, you know, tie things together for you guys, I think, and make things nice and consistent. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to look at my bunny ears for dogs. And while this loads, I'm going to give you an idea of what we're going to look for. Again, as I said, the last two videos, the last two things, we try to get lists of words. But we need to know, are those words going to work for us? And there are four things that I like to look for in Marmalade that will help us figure that out. Those are um, your competition, your views, your price range, and um, the similarity of your items. So what do I mean by that? I'll start showing you here. Okay, first, you want to know, is your competition actually doable? Um, and this first section here is what's going to tell you that. Um, how many results are there? How many other products are there for this specific term that I'm using? In this case, there are only 162. That's great. For some of my jewelry, it's over five or 50,000. So, you know, it, we want something reasonable. Um, this is this is great. I'm one out of 162. Um, the other thing I like to look at is shops competing. How many shops are there in this market? Okay, well, right now, 68. Again, that's way better than you know, 5,000 shops. So this is very doable. This keyword right now is looking really good. So that's how you figure out your competition. Uh, the next thing to look for in uh, Marmalade is your views per week. That's just telling you, okay, is this keyword actually working? Is it actually being used? Are people, you know, actually clicking on things when they view this? Um, and this says mm, a little bit. It says it's a little bit low, honestly, but given that this is a very seasonal product, I'm not terribly concerned about that. Um, the next thing I like to look at, <laughs> excuse me, is um, price. If my item costs $100 and I know the average price is $15, there better be a good reason mine is way out of the ballpark for this specific tag. In this case, though, this is right where I am. I am right about this average price. So um, this is looking like I'm, I'm in the right uh, market. I've got decent views and my price is right. So this keyword is looking really good for me. Um, and then this is a view of similar products. So what I'm looking at here, this is my fourth question. Is my item similar to other items that are coming up to this keyword? Because if you're a buyer and you're searching bunny ears for dogs, um, you're probably not looking for a sweatshirt, right? So if I was this person with a sweatshirt, I would probably think about reworking those keywords. But I happen to be this guy over here, and this is where I want to be. You know, I want to be in with other you know, rabbit ears for dogs. Uh, so this is good. Um, so based on what I found so far with Marmalade, I would definitely use this term. This search term is definitely what I want. Uh, just for the sake of showing you guys, uh, because Marmalade is a tool I use a lot, I thought I'd scroll down and show you the other views. Um, again, if you're interested more in pricing, this shows you how many listings are at each level. Uh, it also shows you, again, what items are similar to yours that come up when you do this search. And um, there is a view here that shows you the different tags people are using. I generally don't use this in Marmalade because again, I use this more of an analysis tool and get my tags from other sources, but you can definitely use Marmalade to generate tags. Um, you can look for ones that uh, are relevant, have a good rank, have a lot of views, lots of information in here. They also have a tag cluster that can be helpful to see, you know, uh, what other things people are searching for, what other tags are being used on these um, top items. But again, I, I like to emphasize the, the data here at the top that, that really tells you, is your keyword applicable? 
And I would continue this process. I wouldn't just do this tag. I would do, um, you know, a bunch of different tags, just continue searching through all of these and comparing them and trying to come up with a list that actually uh, works well for you. Uh, that's really all I had to show you for Marmalade today. It's a great product and I recommend you play with it a little bit more, but uh, this is um, the, the core of it. Uh, so I hope this helped you guys. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments.